Good morning, Chair Samuelson, Chair Greiner, and the members of the Finance Committee. I want to start by thanking you for giving me the opportunity to have this hearing on my bill, House Bill 291. Uh, I have been working on this bill since last session, and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to address this very important issue. Uh, so in my district in Philadelphia, uh, we have some of the highest low income and working class home ownership rates in the state. And while we must do more to lift our communities out of poverty, I personally consider our high home ownership rates a point of pride. In our city, we have hardworking folks who are the inheritors of their family homes, homes that have been in their families and communities for generations. And I'm sure many of you have these kind of families in your districts as well. So you also know that many of these families have been hit hard by these last few years, and at times are holding on by just a thread. You know that sometimes these families hit a rough patch. Someone unexpectedly loses a job, or a household member becomes ill, or becomes disabled in an accident. Now that small financial margin you had has disappeared, but the bills keep coming in. A mistake is made and a utility payment is missed. That mistake snowballs under all the other financial pressures you have and now you're, failing, you're falling behind on your mortgage. So you go and you try to get a mortgage modification to get the breathing room that you need to get back on your two feet and to keep this home that has been in your family since your great grandmother first bought it and you're told no. You're told no because you have an outstanding gasoline bill. That gasoline prevents you from getting your mortgage modification because it must be satisfied first. But to satisfy it, you need to get a modification on your monthly payments. Suddenly, you're stuck in a web of debt that leads to foreclosure. And not only have you lost your family home, but that gas bill isn't getting paid either. So you'll hear from testifiers today about how prevalent this scenario is. And if we made one simple fix, one change that would allow a homeowner to modify their monthly payments before satisfying their municipal lien, we could avoid this nightmare altogether. Uh, so my bill, HB 291, would accomplish this by giving mortgage modification priority over municipal liens, we're not allowing homeowners to skirt their bills. We are, in fact, creating the best possible solution to ensure that that debt is repaid without having to go <clears throat> through a foreclosure sale. The homeowners would still be responsible for working with the utility company to pay off their lien. Property tax payments are already escrowed as part of these mortgages and will be kept current by the mortgage provider regardless. The local impact on revenue is minimal at best, and when weighed against the negative impact of foreclosure, the choice is clear. Foreclosures in a community lead to a decrease in property values for the area, and a vacant, a vacant foreclosed house can lead to deterioration and blight. This impacts buyers and sellers alike. When we do not do everything in our power to keep people in their homes, everyone suffers. So I know that some stakeholders may have concerns, and hopefully the testifiers during this hearing will address those concerns. Um, but if not, I am committed to identifying a path forward that provides our struggling homeowners with the relief that they need. So I want to thank you for your time and your attention, and I hope that you will consider HB 291 for a vote. Thank you.